Okay, we're on the way up the mountain to Sassafras Mountain, and it seems to be very uninhabited, we were just saying. What does that sign say? Carolina Point, we have no clue what that means. So, hit, we keep Life going. Camp. One Young point, oh, Young Life Camp. 1.5 miles on up the mountain. Now, I know a lot of on people Wyoming, have been to um, Young Life when we were growing up. And Rodney said we're on another windy road. Well, this one's a little straighter. All right, here we are at the Foothills Trail sassafras mountain and we're getting ready to park our truck and we're gonna hike up the hill okay we're climbing up the hill to go to sassafras mountain and mountain and uh we'll probably sound like we're out of breath because it's quite a hill and we'll tell you all about it in a minute That's a fast mountain. That's where we're at. It's a pretty steep climb up here on this uh, concrete path. At least it is paved concrete. It says Caesars Head State Park is 14.2 miles from here through the woods on a, on a trail, which that would take you quite a few days. And you'd have to plan a camping trip uh, probably because you know it's not a straight shot. It winds its way up and down and through valleys and around the woods and hills. So, uh, if you ever want to do that, God bless you. Very. That scenery across there, look at it. Sassafras Mountain, across the Blue Ridge Mountains, across the hills. And you, and you can see why it's called the Blue Ridge Mountains, as you can see the blue haze. It's beautiful up here. But today up here, it's, uh, it's, it's about 68, 69 degrees, sunny, and it's uh, a little chill in there. Feels good, no humidity, thank goodness. But we couldn't climb in honor, in honor of those who helped uh, protect this place. A listing of those on there, on the uh, stone. Sassafrat Mountain Observation Tower was just completed April 2019 by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Elevation 3,553 feet. That's why it's so cool up here. Look at the scenery across there. Oh, that is. And the Blue Ridge and the Blue Haze and, oh, and that all is the hills and valleys. Absolutely a Pan over here, Gail, to your left at the, at the I ridges. I don't know if it'll show y'all. At the ridges and so forth. Oh, but it's gorgeous up oh, here. It's gorgeous. I bet up top here on, on this platform it's even prettier. This thing. Okay, wow, well, here's the dial. Here's the dial. We've got a compass here on the. Uh, on We're having one of on these the made. We're having one of these made. Um, for a barn, what they call a barn quilt, be a mariner's compass. Yeah. So how interesting. This is phenomenal up here. Wow. Look here. North, it looks to be a dividing line here between North Carolina and South Carolina right across Sassafras Mount. As you can see, the names of the two states and the dividing line and how it, it goes out there and turns right. So this must be the state line. Wow, yeah. And you follow it there, and there is the state line. <laughs> you gotta capture some of this on the cell phone too. This is amazing. God's, God's beauty is unbelievable up here. You can see for miles. It's a pretty clear day. All right, this is the North in, Carolina side. In the 60s. Do you know how the Bible says I'm standing on holy ground? I'm standing on the North Carolina, South Carolina line. And if you follow it straight out that line, that is the line between the two states. 
so nicely represented here. I love the way they've done this for us to enjoy. There's trails all over the place up here too. You can take these trails down the mountain and down one side and come out. It's amazing. There's Rodney. He's doing some filming on his cell phone. I'm just getting pictures of <laughs> Taping him. <laughs> Hopefully y'all love this video. Yeah, it's it's really really amazing. Let me try to capture them on the camera if I can. It's kind of difficult with these sunglasses to even. Ca I hope I'm capturing this for y'all because it it's just hard to describe how beautiful it really is. As you can see down here, there is a Young Life camp that uh, Gail is shooting them on the camera. Uh, we passed it coming up, and uh, Gail, Gail, I participated in that growing up, active in, in Young Life. Yeah, it's so good to see it. I didn't get to come here, but I was very active in our local Young Life. That would have been probably 50 years ago or so. So anyway, a lot of, lot of fond memories there. We're trying to capture a few still shots of these mountains because it's not really a clear day up here. It's clear down where we live, but for some reason the clouds have set in up here. But oh my goodness, you can just see like mountain range after mountain range after mountain range. If you counted them, there's probably 10, 12 mountain ranges across there. The Blue Ridge. Now you know why they call it the Blue Ridge. One more view of trying to capture. Now this is the South Carolina side. And if you zoom in or zoom, zoom out, it's just, you can't really get a very good video. We're up here at uh, Sassafras Mountain, and to think of the beauty up here that God spoke this, this into ex existence. God spoke this into existence. Unbelievable. How beautiful it is, how pretty it is, how nice it is, how unviolated um, it is. It's just pure nature, natural. It's wonderful. So our granddaughters always ask where Gigi is in the videos. I'm usually behind the camera, but today Rodney decided to put me in front for a few minutes. Yeah, and this is the South Carolina Salt, side Salt, up Salt, here at Salt, Sassafras Salt, Mountain, Salt, and it is spectacular. I know I've said that before, but you've just got to see it for yourself. And if you can't come, I hope you enjoy the video. This is, this is a trail up here at uh, Sassafras Mountain. Foothills Trail, it says Laurel Valley, 4.7 miles. Oconee State Park, 66.5 miles, foot travel only. Imagine, 66.5 miles foot travel. Uh, it'd probably take you a half a dozen days to get there. All right, we're heading down from the observatory area, down the hill. It will be a whole lot easier than coming up, but it actually wasn't very very bad at all getting up here very most enjoyable we thoroughly enjoyed the view and the weather is absolutely perfect it's in the 60s up here yeah the weather you couldn't ask for a better day to go and, up on the mountain and a little breeze blowing yeah oh my goodness very nice no, very nice no humidity i think met, i've made met, that point two or three times now met a few people up there from uh, all parts of the United States. And that's always fun. And we straddle. Okay, this is at the sign getting ready to leave out of Sassafras Mountain Park. And it shows that you can go to Table Rock State Park, which we have visited, Caesars Head State Park, which um, we probably will visit soon. And I'm not so sure what the Chimney Top Gap is. I'll have to do a little research on that one. Okay, we've enjoyed having you along today. And Rodney, have you got anything to say uh, today? It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful place up here. And I, and I will re reiterate, 
that God could speak something this beautiful into existence. Must have been some majestic words. And I tell you, unbelievable what the Lord's powers are. Y'all have a nice day. Have a blessed day.